This is Mwatieno's aquaponics greenhouse in Karen, Nairobi, Kenya. It is one of its kind on large scale in East Africa, over 10 varieties of lettuce, purely organic. See that basically. Matino had built this kind of farm in Cameroon first for research and development into some vegetables before coming to Kenya. Matino doesn't have to worry about weeds, labor force, or huge water bills to sustain his farm, and instead, he quickly harvests robust crops for the local market. He is among few techno savvy aquaponics farmers globally who are living their dream job. Aquaponics is a combination of two industries aquaculture, which is soilless agriculture, and hydroponics, that is, rearing fish. Here, a single board produces a kilo of lettuce that goes for 700 Kenya shillings and Matino has 600 boards and he harvests 15 to 20 kilograms per week, translating to over 400,000 Kenya shillings weekly. The aquaponics facility that we have right now is on a two-acre piece of land, but our greenhouses are about 1,500 meters square total. And inside our greenhouses, we have approximately 850 meters square of grow area which uh, allows us basically to grow lettuce continuously throughout the year. This kind of farm allows three times as many plants to be grown in the same space. But just how does the technology work for the interconnected system to run the farm? So we only basically let the whole system flow with gravity all the way until the water reaches the lowest point of the system where we then apply power so in the form of a submersible pump to pump now the water back into the fish tank and recontinue the flow. When aquaculture and hydroponics are put together in a constructed closed-loop ecosystem, he gets the benefit of nature's bacterial process and ends up with a symbiotic relationship where fish provides nutrients for the plants and plants filter water for fish. So in the fish tank we have our fish. Our fish now produce that waste. As that waste is produ um, produced, there's um, nitrifying bacteria, so the bacteria that does the work of converting the ammonia into nutrients for the plants is active in throughout the whole system, but it's primarily, it's primarily found in the fish tanks and in the biofiltration tanks. These, in these two positions, it basically converts now all the ammonia. So once the ammonia enters the system, it's already been converted into nitrates and nitrites. And then now in the system itself, it's getting, um, it's getting absorbed and basically purified to now send it back out where it flows to uh, a tank that is now below ground where we then use a pump from there to pump the water up into the fish tanks. There are three things that over conventional farming, aquaponics provide including sustainability, the yield and water conservation. Firstly, the water is all covered as you can see in our greenhouse. So evaporation of the water itself is very limited. So the only water loss that's found in an aquaponic system such as this is really the water that's absorbed by now the plants in the system. So in a system like this, we maybe use about seven to 10,000 liters a month to sustain all these plants and that water about 70 to 80 percent of it is lost directly through the processing of harvesting the vegetables. So the majority of the water itself is conserved. This is very important for now areas where there's access to water is limited. The second best aspect of aquaponics is the plant's growth speed. So since we're basically giving plants water that has all the nutrients that it needs to grow, the plants in turn spend more of, more of their time growing as opposed to soil-based plants that spend more of their time going in the soil to look for water and nutrients. Agriculture as a subject has continually been ignored by majority of Kenyan students who see no need in pursuing the course at higher education, a factor that is really affecting the sector as most farmers lack skills on how to deal with various farm machines and intervals of planting crops. A lot of farmers that I've, that I've met are growing things without having done, for example, a soil test you know, and not actually knowing what that soil is good for growing. So I would, I would advise, you know, any young farmer that wants to get into farming to not only do their research into, you know, what it is they want to grow, how to grow it, but if they actually have the right conditions to grow it, to then allow them, you know, to not only have a bountiful harvest the first year, but have a bountiful harvest throughout now the lifetime of their agricultural project. Peter Nyatang, a graduate in horticulture from the University of Nairobi, is an employee in Martino's farm and he says the journey has not been very smooth but nonetheless he enjoys being in the field. With us we get, we get dirty, we feed the nation, we get the cash, you see. There's no money in the office, 
There is money in the field. There is money when you soil your hands. As the government continues to seek measures of getting cheap labor that can be used to enhance the production of more quality produce, aquaponics could be the future of farming, especially for poverty-stricken areas where people are looking for job opportunities and life sustainability. Safi Godanamamo Switch TV.